Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with mysticgenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you see this, I would like to offer the elemental energy reading for the element of water for the month of August of 2024. Water covers the signs of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So if you are a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or have water high in your chart, then this is for you. Uh, if you're interested as to why I read for the elements instead of the zodiac, you can check it out in a video I made down below in the, co in the description. Also, there is a chart. If you've never had your birth charts done, it's a natal chart, and this isn't sponsored or anything like that. Um, but it's from a really respected company. They give you your basic... Um, pie chart which has got all the houses and where the planets and everything are and how they respond to each other but then it gives you a 10 to 20 page um, description detailed plan or an outline of what that all means it also gives you where your ener elemental energy alignment is which is pretty cool mine personally is really high in water so <laughs> um, but it's a fascinating way to kind of get an idea of a baseline of who you are it's from an astrological sense. I'm not good with the zodiac that, or with astrology. That's the reason I use that particular chart. And they've got a bunch of other really cool stuff there, but their natal chart is the one that I tend to go back to the most. Matter of fact, I literally have my chart sitting right next to me. <laughs> um, so that's something you can check out if you're interested. Other than that, we'll get started with our I Ching. And I cast the hexagram before recording the video. Saves a little bit of time. And the hexagram is number 47 for water, and it is the hexagram of adversity and weariness. August might be interesting for water. Adversity leading to success thanks to persistence in a righteous course. Good fortune for the truly great and freedom from error. Though words be spoken, they will not inspire confidence. So right off the bat, it's going to be maybe an uncomfortable month there might be some they're saying some truths that are coming forward that you're not going to like that's where the adversity comes in or it could be as stone sharp and steel it could be one of those things where it's you have to have the abrasiveness to refine who you are you know gold through fire however that's going to manifest on the other side of the challenges of this month is going to be a great success and it says though words be spoken they will not inspire confidence it's not going to be surface level or talk is cheap, you know, the old saying. Uh, and what this is really saying in water situation is it doesn't matter what is said this month, actions speak louder. And that's where you're getting that abrasive thing that's going to refine, polish, or um, build you up, so to speak. Our foundational line, this first broken line here, is with dried branches entangling the lower part of the body he enters a gloomy valley for three years he encounters no one i'm just checking what they mean by the time frame here just one second so this is some one of those things where it's not going to look good there's going to be a part of this month where you're basically saying that three years doesn't really mean anything as far as a time slot but it, what it's really talking about with dried branches entangling the lower part of his body it's gonna look like you're failing <laughs> it's gonna look like you are not doing so great or uh, water that's an illusion to a point but it's something that you have to work through this is that where that adversarial um, rough aggressive energy coming in is something to help polish and shine you up because at the beginning of the foundation of this month is going to be things don't look so great pretty simple <laughs> your second line and i don't laugh as in funny it's more of a nervous thing like oh great here we go um, our second place line difficulties arise through indulgences in food and drink a vermilion sash wearer a man of very high rank appears it's advisable to utilize this opportunity to offer sacrifice. Advancing brings misfortune with no error involved. Don't overdo it this month. Try to live a simple life. <laughs> uh, and when they say through indulgences of food and drink, 
be moderate with how you're going. Don't gorge, you know, avoid maybe the richer foods that are full of sugars and stuff like that. You're probably not the best option for water this month. And as far as drink, again, try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, and they're not saying you can't have the other, but it says through indulgence, meaning overdoing it. Just be a bit more moderate this month with those things. Um, there's somebody that could be coming in of a pretty high position within your business, within your circle, someone you look up to. And at this point, if that person does show up, it's they're saying when they offer sacrifice, it's not talking about like biblical. It's what are you willing to let go of to further your goals? But don't push at anything this month. Advancing is not an option. It's not a good thing. So if you're sacrificing, it's going to be a subtle thing of I'm releasing this because it no longer serves, or I am willing to let this go at this time because it's just not in my, the best interests for me is what they're saying. So again, little intense this month for water. Our third place line, faced by rock-like difficulties and with naught to lean upon but thistles and briars, he enters his dwelling but could not find his wife misfortune. You're basically, <laughs> you're having a rough time. You're trying to get home. The uh, rock-like difficulties, you've got thistles and briars, everything where you go. You're just really kind of struggling this month. And when it says you cannot find his wife, insert <laughs> proper uh, uh, spouse there, it says misfortune. That means that this month is going to feel very isolating to a certain extent where you're not going to have your support team. FYI, your spirit support team is always there. The physical one might not even realize that you're dealing with anything. So it's not just that they're ignoring you. It's the fact that they're completely oblivious to the fact you're dealing with this stuff. So our fourth place line, whoop, there we go. A slow arrival, trouble in a golden carriage. Shame, but not for long. Things are not going to look great. You may have something that looks like it might be good but it ends up kind of you know uh <laughs> failed plans type thing this could make you not feel the greatest but it's not because something that you did was wrong it was a misinterpretation of a sign is what i'm hearing our fifth place line these are very long hose his nose sorry hose his nose and feet are chopped off owing to difficulties with the vermilion sash wearer, the man of high rank but joy comes in time. It's advisable to offer sacrifice. Again, this is not talking about physically losing body parts. It's basically saying you're going to get kind of slapped around a little bit this month, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, however that manifests. But it's not because <laughs> it's not because you've done something wrong. It's basically they're saying that you there is a not you personally, but you as in the element of water have become almost sedentary almost lazy with how life has been coming and this is kind of like a upside the head to wake you up it's not meant to be harmful it's not going to be comfortable <laughs> there's no comfort to be found at the moment but it's saying it's time to wake up and it's advisable to offer sacrifice is there something that is a distraction that you can sacrifice instead of coming home kicking your feet up cracking a <laughs> brewski and watching whatever's on TV is there something is can you sacrifice that to self-development can you sacrifice that to the betterment of the family and these are little things that seem like big sacrifices but in the grand scheme of your life are really small things you're getting rid of so that you can open the door to better improvement there's nothing wrong with ha watching sports or having a uh, beer or any of that that's not what they're saying. They're saying if this has become such an ingrained pattern that it's starting to become harmful, can you sacrifice it? And that's what they're asking is what is it in your life that has become such a pattern that's not really beneficial, can you sacrifice? And that may be completely different for every single person. It could be a coming home every night and reading. It could be coming home and having um, a certain type of you know unhealthy dinner <laughs> can't say too much there because I do the same thing randomly but it's and it's not like you have to give it up completely but if it's becoming a pattern that's getting in the way 
of your spiritual development, of the life you want to lead, can you sacrifice that? So our capstone here, our top line, Entangled with creepers and tottering uneasily, he voices regret for his actions. Provided regret is felt, to advance will bring misfortune. Do not say things you don't mean. If you're not truthfully feeling regret, the, the shame, the I am so sorry for doing that, don't say it. That's the big part of what's coming up here. There, the interpretation through as you go through this sounds kind of dire and a little <laughs> uncomfortable. But the reality of what's being said is this is a wake up call. The universe is saying you've been doing pretty good. There's some things that could be some tweaking. And this month could be a little bit of a shake up for you just to get you brought back to consciousness because when life gets too comfortable, we tend to forget that we <laughs> have control of certain parts of our life. And that's what the reading is talking about is it's not going to be a comfortable month, but it's going to be as stone sharp and sharp and steel as ore through the fire to um, polish the gold, to purify the gold. In, if you're into alchemy, you have to tear everything apart, burn it down to reform it. This month is going to be water's alchemical transformation. And trust me, you're going to go through a lot of these, but this one is kind of is the one that they're bringing forward right now. And they're saying that this could also work into a dark night of the soul type situation. So stay grounded, do your meditations, and watch for the signs from the universe. This is not a month to be pressing forward and you're going to do all the new things. If you've built up some habits that are beneficial for what your goals are, keep doing those. But don't be surprised if the things that are not working for you kind of start to fade away this month. So. With that, we'll hop over to the cards and see if they can flesh any more of this out. Uh, I read each week, and each week we look at a guide or guardian, which is, excuse me, uh, a guide to help you through the week or a guardian to protect you from something unknown. Uh, a message from source, these are positive reinforcements, giving you some advice or some just comfort or support. Then we look at a lesson or a challenge from the tarot. A lesson is something to work on that week if you choose, or a challenge could be something that's coming in maybe a little bit unexpected. Uh, there are approximately, well, not approximately, there's four and a half weeks in August, so we'll read for five week window. Uh, and with that, we'll get started. Also, if you're interested in any of the books for the I Ching or the uh, decks that I'm using, they're all linked in the description down below. With that, your first week's guide or guardian is the Blessings and Abundance Angels. These angels come in to remind you how abundant your life is, to help you see the blessings that you carry. This month could be a little bit rough, so these angels are coming in to say, we're with you, it's not as bad as it looks, it may feel rough, but these things are necessary for growth. But the blessings and the abundance that you carry it doesn't always have to equal a gigantic paycheck. Abundance is, do you have those who care about you and love you and support you? Do you have a place to live? Do you have you know, food? Do you have water? Abundance is fe a more of a feeling. Do you feel that you are in a good place? Do you feel that you are in a positive environment? And blessings, those are the things that come in like your spouse, your children, your puppies, your kittens, all of that fun stuff all of that is what the angels this first week are really wanting to bring to your attention as you are a lot more ahead than you realize it may not feel like it all the time but these angels are coming in and they're saying that they're going to work th with you through the month because it's going to be a little bit of a hiccupy month it's to say we're here we're supporting you don't lose sight of what's the most important and it doesn't always mean all of those zeros in your bank account you know, fo but number followed by a bunch of zeros. That doesn't, that's not always the most important thing. That helps, don't get me wrong, but that's not everything. Your message from source is th number 39 in this deck. It's sensitivity. Don't be afraid to be sensitive to the world. Sensitivity also is awakening your clairs. It's helping you see the synchronicities, those little events that to anyone else, would not line up and would not be connected you're going to notice those connections this first week especially and source is saying 
it's okay to be more sensitive to things. It's okay to need that time away because in those still quiet moments are is when you can really connect into God's source divine. And this month, that's going to be pretty important. Your lesson or challenge from the tarot is the Prince of Autumn, dependable, protective, chivalrous, and humorous, cautious, but wise action, meticulous attention to detail, kindness to others. The basic part of what this card is saying is remember that just because something is going rough does not mean you have to get aggressive or angry or frustrated with the other person. What this is saying is be a foundational person. Be a foundational aspect in your life. It does not mean that you have to take everyone and be a doormat. Said foundation, not rug. <laughs> the foundation is the one that holds the strength. And with the Prince of Autumn, things may not be the greatest, but you can show your mental, emotional strength by you know, saying, you know what, I may not be the greatest at this, but I can connect into the people who are better. And that's what the lesson is this first week is you've got everything lined up. The blessings and abundance angels, the calls to sensitivity. It's helping you step into your power water. Your power is in emotions. Your power is in dreams. Your power is in, well, for lack of a better word, is in magic. The ability to change, to fit, to form, and to carve a new path when necessary. This first week is saying, you've got, you've got this. This month may not be the greatest, but you've got this. So, your second week's guide or guardian are the angels that say, take charge and action. Take charge and action of how you perceive things, how you think about things. This is not... This is not going to be outward action. This is not going to be, I am going to build that building. I am going to complete the novel. If you work on the novel, great. But it's going to be more of the internal work this month. And that's what they're wanting to say is take charge of, you know, those, <laughs> the chaos that can go on in our heads and rein it in. Do the meditations, work on the forgiveness aspects and work on letting things go. Don't feel regret. Regret is just a waste of time, really. But knowing that there is something that you may have done that you need to fix, fix it. Ask for the forgiveness. Send the forgiveness. But do it's an internal process is what they're saying for the second week through the month as well. But the second week, it says take charge and action, but it's talking about internal work. So let's see what source has to add to that or support for that. Source says enthusiasm. Throughout this month, even through the darkness, remember there's always light. And the enthusiasm is looking for that light, looking for that joy, looking for, I mean, the picture, her little face. She's happy. She's got all the dreams in her mind. This picture is one of those beautiful pictures that Josephine paints. That there's, The more you look at it, the more detail you should see. And enthusiasm is a zest for living. You're taking charge and you're working on your inner world. The outer world, enjoy it. And it I don't know why they're focusing on this so much right now. Focus on the simple things. Going out and sitting in your garden, listening to the birds chirp, playing with the, pep, the pets outside, playing with the kids, going for that stroll with your partner in the evenings, just the two of you going for a walk along the creek, however that's manifesting, but it's the simple things that are going to reignite the enthusiasm for life within you again. And if you're single, still go out for the walk enjoy sitting on that park bench enjoy watching the stars watch the moon rise and set things like that are the simple joys in life but it does something to our minds and triggers this zest for living where it's something minor but it's important in that moment so let's look at your lesson or challenge it's the three of winter reach out to others for comfort and love You'll grow stronger from the situation, sadness that heals with time. There could be a loss that occurs in the second week, and it's saying that it's not not a permanent loss. So it could be something like losing a job or, or something along those lines. It's temporary. But the Three of Winter is a unique card because it's saying things aren't the greatest. We get that. But there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. And it says to reach out to others. You have an inner circle. You have this bonded connection to people and this second week it's really important to stay connected to that you're not alone don't pull away from people 
even when it's at you're having those rough days and trust me we all have them we've all had to go through them the one thing that you never forget you're never alone there's always someone you can reach out to whether it's your bestie whether it's your partner whether it's your mom your dad there's always someone you can reach out to so your third week's guide or guardian is self-acceptance the first couple weeks a little intense this, these angels come in and they're working with our like Archangel Kamael, Archangel Gabriel, the angels that are very much wrapped in pink, soothing, healing light. Gabriel's more in blues, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying because she's a water angel. But you're working with coming into your own. You've done some inner work. You're releasing some things. You're clearing out some stuff. This third week is kind of like a big deep breath because you've achieved and you've accomplished. And now it's time to understand that there's things in this world you can't control there's things that have happened when you were younger that you had less of a say in now you've grown up are you still going to let someone else's opinion dominate or are you going to accept yourself where you are knowing you can always get better and continue to move forward in that vein this week just from this right here what they're saying is this week is going to be kind of a oh okay so that first little bit was a little bit rough I see where we're headed as long as I can work on myself, which is the first two weeks, and connect into God's Source Divine, there is a light there. There is a better choice coming. I just have to clear some things out of the space. And that's what the, uh, um, the first two weeks were. Third week is like now you're starting to come to an understanding of why that was the way it was. So your message from Source is simply believe. Believe in the course understand that we all go through darkness we all come into the light it's a process it's cyclical it's just like the wheel of fortune in the tarot everything goes up everything comes down the believing in the process is knowing that god source divine your guides your angels they're with you as you go through this because it's time to up up level but to do that, you kind of got to get le get the lead out because the lead's not helping you. So you got to take that stuff off and put take the lead concrete boots off. But you're believing in the fact that this is where it's supposed to go. You believe in God's source divine energy. You de believe that they have your back and that through proper focus on the positive, on the goals, on the dreams that you have, believing that that is where you're headed. The rest of it's going to fade away. It's going to eventually, three months down the road, you're going to look back and be like, that's what I was stressed about. And that almost always happens that way. So <laughs> believe that the outcome is way better than it you feel in this moment. Your uh, lesson or challenge from the tarot is the four of winter. Set aside concerns for now. You can make decisions later, solutions that come from meditation, the need for sleep or vacation. This is kind of a call out this third week. Things can be rough. It does not mean you can't take a break. If you need to have the day where you just <laughs> curl up with a good book under a blanket, I know it's August, but that's the image they gave me, um, do that. If you just need to go be quiet somewhere, go do that. This fourth week, you're believing and you're growing, but you might just need a day, a spa day. Go get a massage. Go uh, have your nails done. Whatever it is that makes you feel peaceful and quiet but take the time for self-care this third week and they're really saying that this is not so much a reward but an understanding that oh you know what it everything's working out it's a little bit rough at times but we're okay we as in god source divine angels you your partner all of that we're okay just there's you know you have to go through those rough points to understand that sometimes you're fourth week's guide or guardian is divine timing these are the angels that pop in and at times they're annoying <laughs> but other times they're like ha, thankfully the divine timing angels come in to say <laughs> this is all according to plan whether you consciously are aware of the plan that you put in place or not that's irrelevant these angels are saying this actually is what you agreed to when you ha get into a deeper meditational states, you can sometimes access the Akashic Records and you can start to see, oh, no, I did agree to this, darn. 
And then it actually kind of makes it easier because you're like, okay, this is what I was supposed to be doing because there's fill in the blank at the end of all of this. But what they're saying is it all, everything happens in its appropriate time. To everything there is a season, whatever cliche you want to use here, the timing that God's Source Divine and your higher self have agreed to things doesn't always fit into how we in this physical form here want to do it. But these angels are saying, everything's the way it's supposed to be. Don't stress over it. They're really wanting to remind you there's things to let go of this month, but it's not going to be an active, I'm going to be aggressive and tear down things. That kind of energy is not going to be beneficial. It's going to be those subtle, quiet things like, oh, I need to let go of that, or I need to shift that, or I need to heal that, however it's manifesting. But these are going to be much more subtle clues. But understand, in this fourth week is when you're going to really start to see those synchronicities set in. Everything's happening for a reason in its proper time. Your message from Source. <laughs> okay, seriously. This is your guide or guardian. And this, see what that says down there? Timing is your message from Source. Continuation of the first. Everything happens in its proper season. The day the sun rises at its appointed time and sets at its appointed time. The moon rises, flowers bloom, plants die. Everything occurs in its season. This is a season for you of being in the dark. This is a season of you of maybe having a little bit more of a cold state, but it doesn't mean it's going to last. The seasons change. This too will pass. Everything happens for a reason. So, what can possibly the tarot offer us? Uh, we have the ten of winter, the resolution of difficulties, the weight of lift, a weight lifted off your shoulders, the end of an addiction or codependency. They're saying, just wait. It's just about over. The ten of winter. You see, she's standing. Oops, she's standing in the snow, but you can see that the spring is just around the corner. That's where you're at this fourth week, is everything has built up to a certain point and you're starting to see, nope, there really is a light at the end of the tunnel. This had to happen. I feel better. I feel lighter. There's a weight been lifted off my shoulders. There's this uh, old habit that I finally broke. I just feel in a better place. It could be after all of this is over, you've ended up with a promotion. Um, <laughs> you could have been proposed to. I'm not really sure why that one came up, but there's a lot of positive things that are coming out of this month. It's just, it went through a dark patch there for a moment. Your last week's guide or guardian is trust the universe. The plan is in play. You've put all of the intentions. You've set the affirmations. You've pushed it into your vortex as uh, Abraham Hicks talks about. And now it's coming into fruition. Trust the the universe trust god trust your guides everything's going according to plan even if in our conscious state we're a little frustrated by it but in this last week you're going to see that this month needed to happen things needed to go the way they did it may not have been pleasant growth never is comfortable but it got you out of your comfort zone and allowed you to grow and they're saying that you're going to be able to look back and be like I didn't realize that I moved that far, but you didn't feel like you were moving at all. It's those uh, achievements that are so valuable when you're really not feeling it. And your message from source, don't forget prayer. Prayer is you communicating with the universe. Meditation is listening for the response. You're trusting the universe. You're doing the things. Prayer and meditation is what I would title this card is you're putting out the petition and the universe is responding back. You're trusting the open communication. You're trusting the flow. At the end of this month, you're going to see that pretty clearly is what I'm hearing. Everyone's going to see it differently. So, I mean, I can't predict what you exactly are going to see because this is a general reading. But what they are saying is by the end of this month, you're going to look back and be like, oh, okay, I see I don't have to like it, but I see the pattern. I see how I've grown from this. I've seen the things that I've released and the things that I've improved from. So, and you can use that every month. This month they're just saying is a little bit more uh, intense. Your last week's challenge or lesson from the tarot is the six of autumn. The good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of money, money borrowing wisely or repaying a debt. 
things come to full resolution by the end of the month. It doesn't start off great. There are some hiccups along the way, just as with the I Ching talks about. But the overall outcome, where you're going to end up, is going to be in a much better place than where you started. As long as you're willing to do the inner work and don't stress so much about the outside chaos. This is not a month of pushing forward. I can overcome this. I'm emotionally just going to bury it and I'll deal with it later. No, no. <laughs> this month is you're going to deal with it. The things that you've been burying, the things that have been in the way, the things that you have been distracting, numbing, or procrastinating yourself with, this month, August of 2024, the universe is saying, water, you got a little work to do. Let's start working through some of this stuff because you can't make, you can't bring in the next level if you are still holding on to everything from the past level. So some interesting readings for water this month a uh, little intense but not not bad the outcome still is coming out good it's just gonna have a <laughs> you have to get kind of planted in the soil where it's dark and not comfortable for you to come out and bloom and that's uh, the analogy which is a spring analogy but that's what they're showing so uh, with that, I will let you guys go. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on the video if you enjoy this type of content, and comment. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, opinions, uh, even constructive criticism as long as we're respectful. That's all really any of us can ask for. With that, I will let you guys go. Have a great rest of your month. Keep your chin up, and don't forget, if something comes up and you need help, reach out to somebody. There's always someone available.